will give you the all options which you can use along with a ls command and what happens if you use these commands. See, these are the number of switches I can use along with a ls command. Okay, options and file. So, how the command should be used? ls, option and a file. Okay, there can be any n number of options. So, that's why they have mentioned it with three dots. Three dot means repetition. Okay, you can repeat n number of options and you can repeat n number of file names after the ls command. Okay, so, these are the options and their descriptions. How many options are there with the ls command alone? See, these are the options. Okay, generally we use some five to six options of ls. Okay, the first one is minus l. See, what is a minus l? Use a long listing format. Okay. When I am giving ls and simply entering it, okay, it is giving the file names. But if I use a minus l option, it will give a long listing of the format. Okay. Okay, so, so note down minus l, we, we are going to try minus l, the long listing of format. And then a r, r is for reverse order while sorting. Okay. And a T option. Sort by modification time. Okay. We are going to get the long listing of the file with a minus L and we want to sort all the files as per their modification time and this sorting order should be in reverse. That is with minus R. Okay. So this is the combination which we are going to see now. Okay. The first one is minus L, that is the long listing of the file. T sort by modification time and the sorting order should be in reverse order with minus sort. So let us try those options. Colon Q will get will get out of this man command. So the content is still existing here. Okay. <coughs> so ls with a simple ls, I'm getting the list of the files like this. With a long list for a long list, I'm using minus l. So it is giving a long list. Long list means it will give you the permission details, get the user details, okay, and the date and time of the file. So along with the file name it will give you these many number of details. So that is called long listing. Okay? Permissions, okay, node numbers, user, okay, group, group names, dates and size, okay? time and the file name. So these are the details you can get along with the file name. Okay? So if you wanted to sort these as per the time of creation, then how I can use that? ls minus lt. See now the files got sorted as per the time. See the 43, 42, 39, 34, 33. Okay, sorted as per the time in descending order. But if I wanted to make it in ascending order, ltr. So now they got sorted as per the times. So this is the command we most frequently use in real time okay, to see the last modified file at the end. Because why we use this reverse order and all? Because if we have some hundreds of files, okay, it will scroll up. So once we scroll up the screens, okay, we can get the recent files at the end and we can find out okay, what are the recent files got modified. Okay, so that is why okay, we use ls minus lrt. Okay, the sequence could be anything. It could be lrt or ltr, anything. But we will get the output same. Okay, so why we use this with the long listing with a time.
timestamp sorted and with the ascending order okay, because all the files would scroll up and we will get the last modified files at the end at the screen. Okay, so this is the command which we use very frequently ls minus l r t long listing with the timestamp sorted in ascending order. And how we know this all these options with the command called man, right? With the man, and if you give any of the command, it will give you help of the command. What all our switches we have, and you can try them. Okay, so we have covered all file commands. Okay. And some of the directory commands also we have covered cd, cd, uh, change directory and make directory, present working directory and all. Okay, so tomorrow we will continue and we will cover almost all the commands which are in the single page. Okay. So we have any questions, anyone? Till now? Okay. So if we don't have any questions, we can meet tomorrow and we will continue the Unix commands. We will have grab op again set commands we have to execute them and how to get the outputs. Okay. Thank you all. Bye. Thank you very much.